In this video, you are going to learn how to create a template in the Border Workshop in your Darkroom application. Please note, the options discussed in this video do not apply to Darkroom Web Edition. In order to do this, with your Darkroom application open, click on the Setup tab. Click on Products and Services. Click on Templates. Click on Borders. You will need to create a new group or go into an existing border group. The Border Workshop is designed to create or edit templates. For the purposes of this video, we will be creating a new template. This is done by clicking the New button. This will bring up the Border Properties dialog. We will call our template Sample Memory Mate. Our Sample Memory Mate will be a horizontal 8x10 at 300 dpi with a white color page. The photo placeholders in our memory mate will utilize the orientation of the photo. Let's change the option dialog so we are prompted each time the template is loaded. To minimize data entry, the text fields will default to the last value used. Click OK. We are presented with a blank page. The first thing we want to do is add a background. We will demonstrate this by adding a graphic to our template. Now let's take a look at the process for adding text. Notice when we added the text, we enclosed it in percent signs. This tells Darkroom to prompt us for the text each time it's loaded. If we know exactly where we want to add this object in our template, we can type the coordinates here. There are other ways to configure the size and position of your text elements. Let's take a look at this. An easy way to align text in your template is to use the Align tool. Please note, the last item you select will be your anchor. All other items will be aligned to your anchor. You can also add special text by clicking the Insert Special Text button. Under the Advanced section, you can set the rotation of your text. Notice that the year automatically displays the current year.
By adding a photo, you're creating a placeholder that the image will come into when the template is applied. The Options menu contains elements that allow you to add style to your template, such as a predefined mask. We will also draw a frame around the photo and a drop shadow. Let's complete our template by adding another photo placeholder. Notice how it defaults to Photo 2. The image placeholders in this template will be filled in the order in which the photos are selected. For example, Photo 1 is filled with the first image you click, Photo 2 with the second, and so on. You can see a demonstration of this in Templates in Action video. With the last item added to this template, you can now save this template. Since this is a new template, you will be prompted to enter a file name. It is common practice among photographers to use the description as the file name. We strongly recommend you save this template in X Templates Borders. For more information on managing your templates, please see our template management video.